Hello everyone, this is Leah, and today's video is a Look for Less Challenge, where I'll take a high-end decor piece as inspiration for DIY. Stick around to see what I have for you today. Part of a monthly challenge hosted by Yami the Latino Next Door and this month's co-host is Nicole from the Week's Nest. Yami's channel features home decor, DIYs, lifestyle and more. Recently she's been taking us along the remodeling journey with her on our new home. Nicole's channel the Week's Nest is DIY and home decor. She does trash to treasure, boho, farmhouse, and much more. Check the descriptions for links to their channels as well as a link to the playlist for this Look for Less challenge. I know you'll love what you see there and be much inspired. Now this is my inspiration for today. Jocelyn Maine and it's a little bit pricey. $117.99. I want this for bathroom decor, and there's no way I'm paying $117 for it. So, this is the items I'll be using to recreate it. My hot glue gun, glue sticks, some paint sticks, a piece of fabric from my stash, some cardboard, some seashells from the beach, some white contact paper and some paint. I'm going to be using apple barrel paint in white to paint up these seashells to match the inspiration piece. Yes, I rarely use a paint plate. I just dab it on there and smear it around with a sponge brush. I'm quite a messy crafter. Once they were all coated with the white paint, I just set them aside to dry and started on the next part. I cut some cardboard in 7 inch squares. I just scored it with the razor knife and then cut all the way through with my scissors. Once I had all four pieces cut, I started covering it with the white contact paper. You can buy white foam board at the Dollar Tree, but since I haven't left the house in four days, this works for me. It is free. I notched the corners and then just folded all the sides over. Just like so. Next, I take this piece of fabric. The inspiration piece has burlap on it, and I thought this was quite similar. And since it was already in my stash, that was also free. Then I just ravel the edges a little bit, just to give it a little more rustic feel. Once I had all that done, I hot glued all the corners. And then to attach the seashells, I put a good glob of glue on the back of each of, the, of them. So the glue would seep through the fabric and attach to the board. Now I'm using some paint sticks. I missed filming cutting these, but I think you can see what I've done. I'm not good with miters, so I'm just butting up one to the other and gluing it down with my hot glue. 
all around the edge to frame it out. I only had enough paint stirs on hand to finish this one wall hanging, but you get the gist. Next, uh, I took a piece of twine for a hanger and stretched it across the back, hot gluing on each top corner, making sure I had it pulled tight. Then I added some more glue on top of that. And there you go. I have one finished, three unfinished for now, but I will go back and get some more paint stirs and there we go. My version was free, which is so much better than $117. Thank you so much for watching my video today. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, I hope you will consider subscribing. Also, I'd like to say I hope everyone stays well.